Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Devin and today I will be reviewing the singlet binder from Transmissy. Before starting this video, I want to give you guys a little disclaimer. Please keep in mind that when looking at the review from this binder, that my chest is probably a different size than yours. I have a fairly large chest and if you have a smaller chest, it'll probably bind you a little differently. The singlet binder is a tank binder. I got it in the color black and from extra strong material. They're also available in multiple colors and in normal material. I personally owned one tank binder before this one. Uh, it was from GC2B and within a day I cut it to a half tank binder because I didn't really like the tank one. But I am very eager to try this one out and see how it works because in the letter they sent me it said that the long model will also uh, bind your hips and some feminine features around your belly. So um, I would like that as I have very large hips. <laughs> The extra strong material, which I have on my binder, is a little bit harder to get in and out of. I have a lot of experience with binders, so I don't know if it would be a problem for me, but it's just something to remember if you're going to buy the extra strong material. I think it's time to get out of my GC2B binder and into my Transmissy binder. I started off my binding journey with a homemade binder. I didn't use it for very long, but it was definitely crushing my ribs. Then I switched over to the GC2B ones and they opened my eyes. They were so amazingly comfortable. You nearly even felt that you were binding. And right now I'm having the Transmissy one on and I have to say, it's pretty much the same feeling. They might even be a little bit better. This material definitely is a lot more breathing. It's a lot more stretchy. It nearly feels like I'm being binded. But I am, and I think they might even bind me better than the GC2B ones, which I honestly did not expect. So I'm really excited about that. One thing I'm already noticing that I don't really like is that this binder is see-through. Um, it's not like this. Oh, by the way, my hips, oh my god, love it. But you can see my chest through this. The back, I look like a stripper. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that makes me personally quite uncomfortable, but I nearly ever walk in just my binder. So I think if you're just wearing a t-shirt, the more breathable material will be really nice, so it will get way less sweaty. That's a problem I always have with gc to be underneath my chest, it's always so sweaty and warm and disgusting. That's not happening with this binder. But if I have to call one negative point about this binder, it's definitely that you can quite see through it and I don't really feel comfortable with that but it does bind really good I've never had a binder that binds this good just to sum it up some of the positive points on this binder is definitely the material very breathing doesn't make you sweat at all I have the extra strong material that is a little bit warmer but definitely not as warm as the GC2B ones I love the feeling this binder gives you I right now have the feeling like I am completely naked. Another huge positive point is the v-neck. I think I could wear a pretty big v-neck t-shirt and my binder won't show. And just one more thing, this binder ends up so high. So when you're binding, you're supposed to get your chest out and up. And when I do that with the GC2B ones, my chest literally gets out of this side bit and it just looks disgusting you can even see it through shirts so that is a huge positive point on the transmissy binder I just very quickly put on my GC2B binder to show you guys the problem with my chest so when I bind up and out in a GC2B binder this is what happens you get a little flap of fat on the side I only usually have it on the right side but a little bit on the left and uh, you can definitely see this in t-shirts and I hate it. Obviously, this wouldn't be my channel if I didn't compare the Transmissy binder to a GC2B binder. So that's what I'm going to do right now. First, I'm going to show you guys some pictures of me just in the binders and then I'll show you guys some pictures of me with clothes on in the same binders. As you saw in the pictures, I think the GC2B binder and the Transmissy binder bind me pretty much the same. But because of all the positive 
point on the transmission binder. I I am eager to say that I like that one better. So I have about eight GC2B binders I don't need anymore. Anybody want to have them? Because <laughs> I ain't using them no more. No, but literally I feel so good in this binder, especially because they're higher around the armpits. Also, I actually kind of like a tank binder because it binds my hips and I have a lot of hip dysphoria, which I didn't know was a thing, but it definitely is a thing. If you're interested in trying out one of these binders, the name is Singlet Binder and the link will be down in the description below. If you order it at transmissy.com, you will get 10% off if you use the discount code DEVON. So if you want to use that, look in the description below. I'll give you all the explanation, I'll give you all the links, it'll be awesome. For now, I want to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys again next week. Later!